بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من والا ما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال تبارك هو تعالى كما ورد في سورة آل عمران يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تقاطعوا ولا تجابروا ولا تباغضوا ولا تحاسدوا وكونوا إخوانا كما أمركم الله أخرجه مسلم في الصحي وقال الشاعر كما كتب إمام رازي في كتاب مفاتح الغيب لا مات أعداؤك بل خلدوا حتى يروا منك الذي يكمدوا لا زلت محسودا على نعمة فإنما الكامل من يحسد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي وجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي آمين يا رب العالمين Now today I want to talk to you about a spiritual disease and this is spiritual disease the, where, the reason why I'm saying this is spiritual disease is because you can't see this you can only feel this so for the next few minutes next 30 minutes I'll be talking about something which you can only feel and that is jealousy hasad and this is so dangerous, so dangerous, that it has destroyed the humanity from the day one. It has been the enemy of human being from the day one. We all know the story of Adam and Iblis mentioned almost seven times in the Quran. The root cause of Iblis denying doing such that to Adam is because of this jealousy. So this is important for all of us because our parents had issue uh, with someone being jealous with them. And uh, just want to tell you there it's such a huge huge topic so i don't want to cover every ayat and ahadith related to this topic i will assume all of you know that jealousy is haram in islam i will assume that all of you know that jealousy is a negative trait you don't have to be a muslim for knowing that um, what i want to focus in this brief khutbah is the causes of jealousy asbabul hasad what causes jealousy and then how to solve this issue how to fix this issue and remember, you cannot see this, so it's extremely hard. No one else will see that you have jealousy. You won't be able to see that I have jealousy because you cannot see. The only person who can see or who can feel that I have jealousy is myself. That makes it really hard to fix it because appearance might be nice, but on the inside, we have this monster named jealousy. So we are the only one with the father of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will be able to fix this. No one else will going to see this. So first the causes and then the solution inshallah. But just briefly, what is jealousy in Islam? Because if you just Google jealousy, they will give you definition from psychological aspect, which is sometime goes in line with the Sharia, sometime it might not go in line with the Sharia. So if you open any book of Islamic law or Tazkiyah, and you will see what's the tarif, what's the definition of hasad, jealousy, they will tell you when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed someone, a brother or sister, and you have this desire that that favor from that brother or sister should be taken away, should be snatched, and if possible, given to me. If not possible, at least it should be snatched from that brother or sister. This feeling is jealousy. This feeling is jealousy and hasad. Like, for example, the best example which modernist psychologist gives, which goes in line with the Sharia, that especially on social media, if you're on social media, and if you see, oh man, he's getting so much following, so many views, so many likes, and no one likes my picture. So eventually, if you are not a spiritually well-trained person, you will feel that thing in the heart which we call jealousy. Um, remember, in Islam, ghutta is different than hasad. I'll try to make it simple. In Islam, competing someone in doing good, desiring from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wishing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah, this so-and-so person have an amazing recitation. Can you give me such a beautiful voice? It's fine. Actually, it's recommended sometimes. As long as you are not having this desire that that blessing should be taken away from him or her. So this is absolutely fine in Islam. This is competition and it's healthy. As long as it's healthy, it's fine. Okay. And actually, it's mentioned in many different ahadiths. Again, um, I don't want to go into the different route. I just want to keep my focus on causes and solution of jealousy. And it's so important, subhanAllah, it's so important to discuss these things because most of our evil things, most of our crimes, most of our sin, the root cause is jealousy. When you backbite someone, 
there is a chance that you are jealous with that person. That's why you are tarnishing his reputation or her reputation. When you accuse someone, there is a chance that you are jealous with his or her achievement. When you are indulging in a gossiping and trying to destroy each other's reputation, there is a chance that you are jealous with the achievement of the other person. So this happens all the time. How do you figure out that if I have a jealousy or not? I'll tell you some symptoms as given by these scholars. If you are sitting in a gathering or if you're sitting alone and if someone is being praised in front of you, if someone is being praised, some people give compliments to this brother or this sister. Mashallah, this brother is so good. He's doing an amazing work. She's doing an amazing work and you are not feeling good. You are feeling desperate, itching hard to take out filth and to compensate with negativity. This is actually jealousy. You're struggling with jealousy. And this khutbah is for all of us because all of us ha have this issue. Now let's start with the causes of jealousy. And if you will have time, I want to discuss even the dangers of jealousy, but let's see inshallah if you will have time. So whatever I was going to say is the summary of the uh, two books. One is Ihya by Imam Ghazali and one is um, by Mausua Fiqh al Qulub by Sheikh Muhammad Ibrahim. Um, I don't want to give reference to these books in between my talks. So I'll just give in the start, inshallah. Let's start. First cause of jealousy, first suburb of hasad, cause of jealousy. And the most severe and dangerous cause of jealousy is animosity. Jealousy, which is caused by grudge, by animosity, by hatred. This is the most severe, most serious cause of jealousy. This cause of jealousy can lead to killing people or at least verbally harming people this cause of jealousy and you know uh, this cause of jealousy you will going to feel happy when other person receives a difficulty this kind of jealousy because it's generated by hate it's generated by animosity so if other person receives difficulty you will feel happy if other person receives some good thing you will feel sad to the point that if other person is being punished in this dunya or other person is receiving a difficulty, you will think that Allah is happy with me. Because you, your life is too busy, preoccupied with what others are getting without focusing on what you can get from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what jealous people are. Actually, this type of jealousy is addressed in the Quran. Subhanallah, sometimes we have to study Quran from a psychological lens. Subhanallah. In Surah Ali Imran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was giving his an analysis on the battle of Ahad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In hasana tasuhum. Daru Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa If you receive any good, if you receive any good, these people, they feel sad. And then he says, Wa in tusibikum sayya yafrahu biha. And if you receive any difficulty, any hardship, these people will feel happy. So their happiness, their sadness is not what Allah has given to them, it's actually what Allah has given to you. This is what happens with a jealous person. He's not concerned about what he's getting or she's getting. They're concerned about what other people are not getting. And this is the worst kind of jealousy or severe cause of jealousy, which can cause many serious issues. And you have to understand this before we can discuss other causes. Jealousy can, most of the time, jealousy can be caused when we have some common interest, let's say two medical doctors graduated from the same school. One is giving back to community, driving nice car, earning more. The other one will say, oh man, we, we used to study in the same school. The other guy is becoming more successful in materialistic life. So this is a cause of jealousy. Two imams, two speakers, two real estate businessmen, two students, two siblings. Rivalry between siblings is reality. See Surah Yusuf. So you have to have a common interest to feel that jealousy. What's the solution of this first cause? If you are jealous with someone out of animosity, out of hatred, the solution is very simple. To finish that hatred and animosity so that you will feel better about yourself regardless of what other people are getting. Actually, there's a beautiful hadith in Sahih Muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said this, لا تقاطعوا ولا تدابروا ولا تباغدوا ولا تحاسدوا when you are jealous with someone, you might start having this grudge, 
this hatred and then you don't want to see each other face you want to turn the turn your back towards each other you want to cut off the relationship from each other because of the jealousy you want to you don't want to invite that brother or sister in your in your weddings in your family events you want to kick that brother or sister out from your whatsapp groups whatever allah's allah's messenger is saying la taqata'u do not cut off relationship then wala tadabaru do not show your back to others wala tabaghadu do not harbor grudge animosity hatred in your heart wala tahasadu and it all, all happens because of hasad jealousy don't become jealous with each other be brothers and sis sisters in the community so first reason is animosity and hatred which gives birth to jealousy second and this is very common in our times of social media second cause of jealousy is actually fame is fame sum'a fame or individualism talabul ja and wallahi i'm not bringing this myself go and read ghazali go and read muhammad bin muhammad ibrahim in mausuf fiqh al qulub these great scholars they say how can this affect jealousy let's say if you are an amazing speaker if you are an amazing reciter if you are an amazing activist if you are an amazing doctor who is giving back to the community if within the family you are one of the most successful family member than the other family member even when it comes to other things then you will have this fear because you are famous then you will have this fear that if someone else will come in the same market my fame will go down or at least it will be divided i won't get the same attention then what you will do you will try your level best to bring those people down who is trying to come in the market just a simple example just a simple example and i don't want to bring pick on any one of you so i'll pick on myself let's say i'm imam of this masjid and i have i'm getting 100 students in every class i'm teaching two years down the road there is other masjid who hired an imam and then they are getting 50 students and now i'm getting 50 students so there is a reduction but previously i was getting 100 students now i'm getting 50 students and god forbid if i am not a spiritually trained imam then jealousy can come in my heart that previously these 50 people were my students and now they are going to the other imam then i will going to give fatawa the heated khutbas that that imam is teaching wrong his aqidah is wrong he's an undercover rabbi so on so forth you might not even realize what is happening but i know this is actually jealousy and this can happen with everyone with everyone and that's why it's dangerous to fix this issue to fix this issue you know if you have an i will give you another example again i don't want to pick on you so i'll give you my example if i have an amazing recitation although i don't if i have an amazing recitation and if any guest imam will come and i'll say sheikhana please lead us and if he leads and if he really have a better recitation than me and if i have that foolish perception of myself that i am the best in the business then people will ask me uh, sheikh what do you think about this guest imam's recitation and i will say if i will accept the yeah he have a better recitation then it will hurt my ego i don't want to do that and out of jealousy what i will say oh yeah his recitation was good but you know his kalkala was not okay his gunna was not coming from nose i don't know where it was coming from but definitely not coming from nose all these things oh oh yeah he's fine but this is what happened and again the root cause is you want to stay at that top level number one position you don't want to come down that's another cause of jealousy by the way the jewish scholars in medina when they didn't believe in prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was for this reason it was for this jealousy that they had the status of scholars in that society medinan society and how do you believe in this new guy in the block coming from mecca claiming to be a prophet we know that he is a prophet but if he will surrender to him we have to lose our status and that's why they cause jealousy so again this is a second cause of jealousy out of fame out of individualism third cause of jealousy i hope you will remember all of this inshallah first is first is animosity grudges hate second is out of fame third cause of jealousy is out of arrogance min asbab al hasad kibr wa ta'azzuz arrogance if you are an arrogant person how how can it turn into a jealous jeal, um, into a jealousy you never want people to come above you there are people who are under you like in your job in your class there are people who have benefited from you 
And you never want them, if you are an arrogant person, to come above you. You always want them to stay lower than you. And then it will cause jealousy if they are trying to come up because of natural talent what Allah has given to them. And then you are going to do whatever you can to manifest this jealousy and to bring them down. And this happens all the time. You know, the leaders of Quraysh in Mecca, they had this kind of jealousy. They didn't want Prophet Muhammad not because they don't agree with the akhlaq and character of Rasulullah. They all know Rasulullah's character. Rasulullah has spent a life within them. Everyone knows about the character of Rasulullah. But they were saying, oh, this person who was orphan, who is not extremely rich, how can this person uh, can lead us? So they had this jealousy out of arrogance and then they tried to pull uh, Rasulullah's status down. And it's very interesting. If you ask Abu Lahab, Abu Jahl, Abu Bakr and Umar in Makkan days, what do you think about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu They all will give same response? No. <laughs> Abu Bakr and Umar will going to start praising Rasulullah sallallahu and Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab will try to stop you with whatever way they can for you to believe on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu It tells us a very important lesson. When people are criticizing others or they are hating others or praising others, you don't have to take their words for serious consideration. You have to consider other factors also because this is very, extremely important. Okay. Another cause of jealousy, I know it's taking too long. Another cause of jealousy is jealousy out of failure of objective. Al-Khawf min fawt al maqasid Two people trying to achieve same goal. One gets it, the other one will going to get jealous. Let this happen, so let's say two men trying to marry the same woman. One man marries the other guy, miskeen guy, he became jealous. Or it happens between the siblings also. One sister gets marriage proposal, the other sister, if she's not spiritually trained, she will going to get jealous. Um, even SubhanAllah, Imam Ghazali says, it can happen between two scholars. It can happen between two successful people in the society that you want to get that number one position. You want to get more likes, more following. And to, for you, as a number two scholar, to get the number one position, there is no way you are getting there unless you will pull the status of number one scholar. <laughs> he will come down and you will go up. That's how the psyche plays. And then there are other factors also, other causes also. I'm just uh, going to the solution because we don't have time. Jealousy out of shock, ta'ajjub. That you would never expect such a person will be a successful person in life. He was a backbencher in your class, in your college, in your school. And all of a sudden now he has become successful. And you will be like, really? Him? Her? She has become successful? He has become successful? And that will cause jealousy because you never anticipated from them. You never expected from them. So all these are causes of jealousy. And may Allah protect all of us from jealousy. Ameen, Ya Rabb. What is the solution for this? See, no one else can help you except you yourself with the father of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because no one else will see you that you have jealousy. Yes, you might show some symptoms, but deep in your heart, only you know that your heart is struggling with jealousy. And you have to recognize this to solve this issue. No one else will be able to see this. And I'll tell you something before I can tell you solution. I have spent last 10, 12 years in Islamic field academics if you are thinking that scholars don't have this issue, yes, the righteous scholars don't have this issue. But not all the imams and scholars are righteous. Even scholars and tulab, students of knowledge, they have this issue of jealousy. Oftentimes more than a regular person. Oftentimes more than a regular person. So what's the solution? What's the solution? First, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clean your heart. Allahumma tahir qulubana min al-hasad. Ameen ya Rabb. Because we all need to ask this dua, not only one time, because we need to keep checking our intention. Maybe jealousy is creeping in my heart. Why I'm not loving that person if he has buy a new house, if he's getting success in his business, if he's doing this, if he's doing that. First thing is to make dua that may Allah clean your heart from the hasad. Second, and this is by the very bitter medicine. I hope we all can do this. I hope we all can do this. Practical tip, 
given by these scholars, how to end jealousy. And again, this is very difficult, but I hope all of you can do this. He says, try to do exactly opposite of what a jealous person will do. Try to do exactly opposite. So Imam Ghazali brings this example. Imam Ghazali says, if you are sitting somewhere and if you are feeling negative about someone, jealous about someone, do exactly opposite. Start praising him. Start praising her. Because a normal jealous person will start backbiting him or her. Start bashing him or her on his face. Start praising him or her. Mashallah, you are so good, brother. You are giving a medicine to yourself at that time. Although this is bitter medicine, but wallahi, then there is no chance that jealousy will grow in your heart. Praise that person if you feel jealousy about him. On his face, on his back. That mashallah, he's amazing brother. He's amazing. She's amazing sister. Do that. If this is jealousy out of arrogance, be humble in front of him. This will fix the jealousy issue. Try to take benefit, try to value his or her work. This will fix the jealousy issue. I know it's hard because if you are jealous, it is expected from you, you are going to bash him or her. But to solve this, to fix this, you have to give exactly opposite medicine. Make dua for him or her if you are jealous. If you are sitting and you feel negative about a brother or sister in community, make dua for that brother or sister in his absence. This will going to put love in your heart. I know this is hard, but inshallah, we will be able to do it, inshallah. Third solution, remember, remember the consequences of hasad, nataj al hasad. Remember the consequences of jealousy. And that will pull you back from jealousy. What are the consequences of jealousy? We all know iyakum al hasad, stay away from hasad because it will eat all of your good deeds. We all know that. But even from materialistic perspective, not only from the religious perspective, Rasulullah says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in Sunan Tirmizi, and this hadith is so scary, SubhanAllah. He says, La tuzhiru shamata tali akhik, fayarhamahu Allahu wa yabtalik. In Sunan Tirmizi, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, do not express happiness when your brother or sister is struggling in their life. Because if you will do this, there are chances that Allah will take them out of that struggle and difficulty with His mercy and Allah will put you into the same difficulty. Can you imagine the situation of a jealous person? No dunya, no akhira, nothing. Allahumma tahir qulubana min al-hasad. Ameen, Ya Rabb. Fourth solution. And this might sound, oh, how it's related to solution. Rasulullah says, initiate salam. Initiate salam. And this is a long hadith, but I'll try to, I'll quote it anyway, inshallah. Um, Rasulullah says in one hadith, Dabba ilaykum da'ul ummam qablaykum al-hasad wal baghdahi al-haliqa. He says the previous, the jealousy and hasad have destroyed previous nation and it will destroy you also. And how to solve this? How to solve this? He says, La tadkhulul jannah hata tu'minu wa la tu'minu hata tuhabbu that you are not entering Jannah until you will love each other. And how you will do this? Afshu salam bainakum. Spread salam. Say salam to each other. He said, say salam, but he started the hadith with jealousy. The jealousy have dis will destroy all of you. It means what? Once you are jealous with someone, now we have this messaging. If you know that communication is still open, text the person. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Just want to say salam. How are you feeling? It will, it, it will crush your nafs, it will crush your ego to do this. That you are jealous with this person, you have backbited this person, but now you are reconciling and you are taking first step. Afshir salam bainakum. And then obviously focus on akhara and jannah. Most of the times we are doing hasad and jealousy because we are concerned for the things in dunya, materialistic things. Wealth, fame, social status. In Jannah, all of us will going to get whatever we want without decreasing other person's reward. So try to focus in Jannah that, okay, I'm going to get Jannah and other people will also get Jannah and everyone will get whatever they will ask for. So in Jannah, we won't have this issue of hasad. Why we have this issue in this dunya? In Jannah, we won't have this issue. So keep focusing there because in dunya, you will have these issues. And the last solution. The last solution. See, it's not possible for you to become like everyone. 
If you'll try to become like everyone, you will lose yourself. Every person is given a different talent, different skill, different unique. Try to be yourself. You know, when young Hufas are leading Tarawi or Salah in the voice of Sheikh Abdul Rahman Sudeh, so Sheikh Mahir al-Mawqili, and I would say, mashallah, beautiful recitation. But there is only one Sheikh Mahir al-Mawqili in the world. There is only one Sheikh Abdul Rahman Sudeh in the world. And there is only one Hasib and Abdullah and all these young Hufas. So be yourself. Yes, try to get inspiration, but be yourself. I'm going to tell you that it's impossible for you to become like everyone. And that will create hasad. That will create hasad. At least try to love these people if you cannot become like them. Because if you don't love these people, and if you see them flourishing in the life, then there is a chance that you will develop hatred. So love these people if you cannot become like them. This hadith is mentioned in Sahih Muslim. Anas radiallahu narrated this beautiful hadith, subhanAllah. He says, a person came, anna rajulan qala, ya Rasulullah, mata sa'a. A person came to Rasulullah sallallahu he says, when is day of judgment coming? And Rasulullah sallallahu know everything about the signs of day of judgment. He could have said, oh, the jail is coming, pandemic will come, COVID, he could have said this. He said this, what did you prepare for the day of judgment? Tell me. The most practical answer. No academic discussion. Tell me, what did you prepare for day of judgment? Then he says, he says, I haven't prepared that much, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Except that I have love of Allah and his messenger in my heart. Then Rasulullah says, فَإِنَّكَ مَعَا مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ That indeed you will be with your loved ones in the Day of Judgment. It means you will be saved, inshaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, Ya Rabb. Why I'm saying this? It's impossible for you to be like everyone, but at least love them wherever they are so that you won't have this jealousy and hatred in your heart, inshaAllah. Just last thing about we all spoke about causes of jealousy. We spoke about how to fix this issue if you are jealous with someone. How to protect yourself if someone else is jealous with you. That's also very important. Just, just two, three things and we'll end inshallah. First, make constant dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do proper askar of the morning and of the evening mentioned in our hadith. Surah Falak and Surah, Surah Falak have that ayah in sharri hasid in iza hasad. You are seeking protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from hasad and from, from hasideen. Uh, second, you do not have to share your achievement all the time with people unless there is a need. Why you want to share every achievement if there is no need? Remember when Yusuf saw a beautiful dream that he will become a prophet who will save the people of Egypt? Why, why Yaqub advised him, La ala Yusuf, make sure you don't share this on Facebook. Why? Why? Because jealousy is real. Rasulullah says, Kullu mahsud. So you don't need to share everything, especially in the times of social media, unless there is a need, if it will benefit more than harm. And the last thing is that never stop doing good things because someone is jealous with you. Remember this. People will be jealous with you. Rasulullah, the most wise people were jealous with him. Yusuf, prophet, people were jealous with his own brothers. Do not stop doing good things. Do not overcompensate because there is someone jealous. Because that mentality, you try to please everyone. No, you cannot do this. There is actually, I will end my, my, my khutbah on this poem, inshallah, then we'll make dua. So a poet says, The poet says, every animosity in this world can be finished. There is a possibility. Except the animosity or hate due to jealousy. Because a jealous person won't be satisfied until you would give that favor away. <laughs> so if you are doing something good and that is causing jealousy, just don't stop doing good things. Make dua for that other person that he will receive some kind of help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect all of us from jealousy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the for those, inshallah. Allahumma, Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannat al-firdaus. Wa na'uzu bika min sikhati min al-nar. Ameen ya Rabb. وصلى الله على النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الله أكبر